I'm Heather Slesser with the University of Wisconsin Extension, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to make a few toys for your chickens. So the first thing we're going to make today is a chicken pinata. Now don't get me wrong, we're not making pinatas out of our chickens. What we're going to do is we're going to take this cabbage plant and make a little pinata for them to play with. So start by getting a cabbage out of your garden if you grew one. Here you can see I got one that split, so it got a little too big before I could eat it for myself, but it is still in great shape for the chickens to take care of and eat. So the items that you need, one cabbage plant, some string so you can hang it up, and a pair of scissors to cut your string. Very simple. Step number one, acquire your cabbage. Check, got my cabbage. Step number two, get your cabbage and start to peel off some of those outer layers just so that your string can hold that ball and have something nice to hold on to. Here I am just breaking off some of those extras. All right, so that's good. I'd say we've got a better ball shape going on without those extra leaves. Next, get your string. What we're going to do is we're going to wrap our string around our cabbage, kind of like you're wrapping a box of a present. Now, I should warn you, I'm not a very good present wrapper, so don't judge me. But wrap it a couple times going in one direction around your cabbage, then wrap it the other way. And if you need an extra hand, you can always feel free to ask somebody to help you. All right, pulling it nice and snug and tight around your cabbage plant. All right, there we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it around here a little bit. And the only reason I'm doing that is so that when I go to hang it, oops, I've got something, there we go, it's nice and digging in. Something to hang it up on. All right, so let's see. All right, so you can see I got my cabbage. It's pretty snug, secure. I'm gonna set that down there. And I am going to peel off enough of my string so that when I tie it in the chicken coop, I've got enough length here to tie it off. So it's not the prettiest looking thing, but as you see, once we put it in the chicken coop, the chickens are gonna love this. All right. Thanks for watching and we'll be back in a little bit once we're in the coop.